the first draft of Sugartown Queens was just, ooh, it was mm. bad. <laughs> that's <laughs> really bad and my agent Catherine was so sweet she said you know there's a lot of good things in here and when someone starts out like that you go oh yeah. <laughs> I said all right okay okay I'm gonna go back but I kept the three girls yeah that's kind of what I kept from the first things I, I love these girls it was just bringing them together mm. in, a, in, a, in a better way and um yeah I, I just I love them I love mm. I love my girls yeah they are very wonderful, very wonderful. And I agree. I think it, it is that that goodness that just acts as a bit of a catalyst, I think, to push them yes. out, push a mandler yes. out and push a little bit out into contemplating possibilities or just trying, giving it a go. And I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting you say about the sport because I just assumed it was a bit more to do with kind of her having that that slight buffer of wealth, you know, oh, relatively oh, speaking. You know, she's got absolutely. the mobile phone, she's got the, the yeah. brothers who protect her and that sort of stuff. Mm. Yeah, it, it's definitely coming from that. But she's she's protected by a number of things, mm. right? So she's, I can't really explain this except so like when we came to Australia, we were so um, used to being mixed race coloured people that when an Australian would say, oh, who cares? You know, like, mm. go, go tell that person that you want to, want, want to and I, I'd be like, yeah, but I've got to go and ask that lady for that new shirt because she doesn't really fit if we were try, trying on clothing. And the Australians were like, who cares? Just freaking go and ask her. Mm. And, and I would, and then i get a response and i go, oh, it was like, it was being read into a new world. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It was being read into a world where it's actually okay to have some power, some agency. And I think goodness is that catalyst for, mm. for both Little Bit and Amandla who are, they're very stuck in their dreams of what the future should be. And that's, oh, we're going to leave Sugar Town. We're going to go to university. And she's like, well, how about we claim some of that stuff now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of waiting for the future for it to happen and stuff. Mm. So, um, so yeah, that was, she's definitely, she's, she's a cool chick. I love her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's completely wonderful. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Marla. I really appreciate having this chat and getting the chance to talk about this because, yeah, I've been sitting with them all week and sort of just loving <laughs> hanging out um, with these characters. And it's so nice to unpack that a bit with you and discuss them in more detail. Oh, it's been great. It's been great talking about them. And, I'm, you know, I feel like once a release comes through and, and then, you know, it's like everything, you have to let people go and then go on to the next... Yeah. Yes, I think so. But I've loved, I've loved hanging out with them. I've loved hanging out with my girls here. Yeah. Let me just, can I just introduce them to the audience really quickly. Oh, yeah. Here they are. That is a little bit. That's a mandala. That's goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so Very thank you for amazing. speaking to me. Thank you so much. All right. Well, all the best. August three. Everyone, pick up your copy. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.